Happy Monday, Milwaukee Chamber Theatre fans. I'm incoming artistic director Brent Hazelton, and I hope that this finds all of you safe, healthy, and well, and keeping up good social distancing habits. For those of you who had tickets for Gently Down the Stream before performances were canceled, the link to the virtual reading of the play via Zoom will be emailed to you soon. And we'll be having the first of two talkbacks for the show this Thursday evening at 6.30, moderated by Associate Artistic Director Marcella Kearns, live here on our Facebook page. And we've got a whole slew of other content coming your way via our Facebook page this week. Today at 11.30, Marcy will join Producing Artistic Director C. Michael Wright for his Monday morning musings. Joining us for this week's live Tuesday through Friday noon conversation series with artists from our 2021 season are Demonte Henning, Jason Fassel, Kelly Doherty, and Christy Childs Twilley. We'll feature three events in our Safer at Home performance series this week. On Wednesday night at 7, we'll host a live Zoom reading of Milwaukee actor and playwright Angela Iannone's The Edwin Booth Company Presents, produced by Three Crows Theatre. Friday night at 8, we'll have another installment of The Weekly Watts, our weekly virtual piano bar featuring Steve Watts. And stop by early this week, as Kelly Doherty will be opening up for Steve, starting at 7 o'clock, accompanying herself on ukulele, singing songs from a grab bag of genres. And if you have not already, please make plans now to join us for our virtual Cheers to Chamber Gala Telethon on Friday, May 1st, from 7 to 8.30 p.m., live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. We'll feature around 30 of your favorite chamber artists celebrating the company's 45th anniversary, saluting Michael's tenure as artistic director, and celebrating so much of what makes Wisconsin's theater community special. You will not want to miss this once-in-a-lifetime collection of artists. In addition to a celebration, the Cheers to Chamber is also our single largest fundraiser of the year. We spent the past month working as hard as we can to recover from the serious financial hits we've taken as a result of our current health crisis, but we're still in need of $98,000 to ensure that we'll be able to continue fulfilling our 45-year mission of supporting local artists. There's no better way for you to make an immediate positive impact on Chamber than by making a donation to the gala today. And then join us for the party on May 1st. We cannot do what we do without your support, and we've never needed it as much as we do right now. Please like and follow our Facebook page to make sure that you won't miss any of the updates or great content from local artists. And please help us spread the word by inviting your Facebook friends to like and follow our page. And if you haven't yet returned your subscription renewal for next season, there is no better time than right now. Thanks for watching, and as always, please stay safe, stay healthy, and do whatever you can to stay socially connected while staying physically distant. Have a great day.